hey guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl angie and i am back again with another hair video so i'm gonna show you guys how i got this bouncy skunk stripe from west kiss hair i'm gonna show you guys how i got the full installed the bouncy curls and everything completely now stay tuned and let's get into the video Now you guys know I always got the tea on the hair for you as always and today Westkiss sent me their skunk stripe hair which is 180 density and when I tell you when they told me it was 180 I was so scared because I wear nothing less than 200 density even 200 is a little bit small for me it's 250 and up but they sent me this hair and this hair was so bouncy and full it came with so many things i was just like i was actually really really shocked so i'm gonna do the ball cap method i tried to do it without it like prior to filming this video and it just did not come out right so let me behave myself and just do the ball cap method stick through it and i feel like just because it's hd lace hd lace in general you're probably gonna have to do the ball cap just because your wig cap is most likely gonna show through it and that is not cute our ball cap is done and we're looking very very bald that's what we're going for so this is hd lace the lace was impeccable and this is coming from me so i'm gonna put this on my head and i'm gonna cut the air taps just to make sure that it lays really really flat just check around move the wig around you know make sure that it looks good on your head before you actually glue it down so um i was gonna do only one layer of glue but my spirit was telling me hmm fits and the weather that we're in, you need to glue this wig down. So I did two layers. Look at me bringing out my African accent. Let me stop. But um, yes, I did two layers of the glue. Make sure that the glue is clear before you put it down. Because since it's HD, you really, really don't want any mess ups on this hair. So I'm going to bring it down a bit. And I'm going to press it so that all the glue gets in it. And just to make sure that it's really firm. But look at how this is looking guys this is 180 density i'm actually like i'm so shocked because i've never seen 180 density be as full as this before honestly the wig is giving everything it's supposed to give so now i'm just trying to decide if i want to do a side or middle part the side part is calling me because that's like it just makes sense to do it in the side part but then again i'm like you know what let me try something different and do it in the middle part but i keep flipping it to the side just because man i really want to do this but it's okay so i'm gonna hot comb the hair trying to make it as flat as possible when i tell you guys this frontal was thick it was thick like super super thick i had to hot comb it like almost 100 times that's how like full it was so i'm gonna use my wax stick and i'm just gonna hot comb the hair and i'm gonna try to get it as flat as possible but right now i'm just perfecting my middle part to make sure that it is centered because i know i make a lot of mistakes when it comes to perfecting the middle part but guys look at how luscious this hair is i put a little bit of bio silk in it just to prepare for curling but look it's moving it's swinging it's flowing and that's on period so i'm just gonna um section some hairs from my baby hairs i didn't know if i wanted to just do the 613 only and leave the black hair out of it but you know i tried to be different again and try to you know spice it up a little bit do some black and some 613 but i don't think it turned out really well you'll see later that i fixed it up but i'm just gonna section out my baby hairs and i always 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 hot comb the hairs backwards so that i can just see my work more clearly this hair is already looking good so I'm, I'm gonna use this ebon spray that i've been using for quite some time i actually think it's better than the got to be tell me if i'm wrong um i'm just trying it out i'm still pretty new to it but i'm gonna tie this down with an elastic band make sure that it is covering your sideburns because you do not want your lace lifting prematurely <laughs> so i'm going to curl my hair i honestly think i need to make a curling tutorial because every single video guys are like oh my gosh angie show me how you curl your hair like how do i make my curls stay how do i make it bounce i really just think it's time i make an in-depth video just to show you guys how i got my curls to look like this because honestly it's taken me years and years and years to even know how to curl my hair on my own head. So I feel like making a video with you guys would just be really, really helpful because installing your hair is nice, but if you can't curl or style it the proper way, then there's no point to it. 
but I'm going to go on to do my baby hairs, guys, and I'm going to comb the hair out. Make sure that's separated. No, like, glue or spray is keeping them together. And then I'm going to cut them with scissors. Whenever I do um, the soft baby hairs, I don't really care if I use scissors or a razor just because I feel like there's no difference, I guess. So I'm just going to comb the hairs upwards as I always do. I used to do it downwards, but I just feel like it does not look right. <laughs> So I'm gonna curl the hair upwards, both um, the baby hairs and the sideburns. So after doing that, I'm going to go on with my wrap foam and I'm going to try to lay it as best as possible. As you guys know in my previous videos, I do my baby hairs, but I'm not the best at doing them on my own head. So I just do it however I do it. And if it turns out good, it turns out good. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I mean, it's still wearable. It's not bad. So I'm gonna tie it down with a paper scarf. The tying down didn't really work, so I just put it there just so it could dry. So I'm gonna curl the second side and I'm gonna make sure to curl it in the direction like going away from my face. So I'm gonna comb these curls out. Just look at how bouncy and juicy these curls are. I believe the hair was body wave. It looked like a loose wave, which is probably like a nail me in the back, which is probably why the hair was so bouncy. But guys, look at this. This hair is giving everything. Like I've been so scared to try the skunk stripe because I've seen everyone doing it, but I just felt like it wasn't for me, which is why I really never tried it on my own. But West Kiss did me so good with this hair. Like I was actually in love. I got so many compliments. I wore this hair for even longer than I thought I was gonna wear it for. But look at me, I'm just enjoying it. I'm feeling the vibe. But guys, I will list all the coupon codes below. I will put the link to the direct um, hair that I'm wearing in the description box. And just, oh, Jesus. Fine girl, fine babe. Nah, I really ate this. This hair is doing everything. But if you guys would like to get this hair, it is in the description box. And thank you for watching all my videos. I have videos back to back to back for you guys. And just thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will most definitely see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed, stay humble, and have a great day, guys. Bye.